Hi, in this video I will be solving CS1 paper A on word using IFO in notation sheet. The topic which will be covered is a joint probability distribution question from uh, CS1 IFO April 2019 paper. So let's see. So this is the question paper which will be solving and I will just use word also. So let x and y be two random variables. State the definition of independence of random variables in terms of the joint distribution. So first you write the question question 6 part 1 part 1 is shear theory so we'll just copy the theory part from here okay and paste it so this is theory and then I'll just write the next part which says so increasing f underscore x comma y so you have capital x comma y and give space and write the other x comma y which is on the top okay which is equal to f underscore x comma x into f underscore y comma y so this is as simple as this for all x comma y in the range okay so this is how you cover the first part next part which you cover is this part the question says Drawing probability density function is this. Determine the marginal density functions of x and y. So to calculate the marginal density functions, we have this uh, solved here. We'll just have a look into this, how it is solved. So if you see, coming down, I'll just solve it for you. So f underscore x comma x is equal to, so it's, I n t x comma 1 so this indicates I n t x to 1 and then you can write your values 8 x y d y is equals to 8 x y square by 2 brackets close and under again to give the limits you just write x to 1 is equals to 8 x into 1 minus x square and whole divided by you have 2 so you just write this simply or whatever is written and then it's always 4x 1 minus x is square so this is how you get it for 0 less than x less than 1 so this is how you get this part and for f y y it is equals to i n t of 0 comma y 8 x y d x okay and then it becomes 8 y x square by 2 and this again is from 0 to y the range which is equals to 4 y q okay and this is again 0 to y to less than 1 so this follows the marginal density functions first part and part B says us state whether or not x and y are independent based on your part in uh, 2a. So if for independency your come down two seconds. So we'll just come down. So your f underscore x comma y x comma y is not equal to is not equal to f underscore x comma x into f underscore y comma y so x and y are not independent okay so simple as that normal typing which we can do is this and the last one says determine the conditional expectation say conditional expectation again come here part 3 so expectation of x given y equals to y is equals to i n t 0 comma y and then again limits is there and then in brackets you can write x f underscore x comma y x comma y divided by f underscore y y whole brackets close dx 
which is equals to i n t zero to y x into eight x y by four y cube. Okay, so this is the solution in dx and next line you can just write equals to two by three y square space x to the power three again limits you need to give zero comma y after the brackets is equal to two y divided by three okay for zero less than y less than one so this is how is the basic typing you need to do and solve the sums okay thank you